Welcome to Dope Tonics, the home of thirst. Today I'm bringing you a classic born in 1972 out of the best city in the world. I'm talking about New York. I'm talking about Snapple. Get ready to barbecue because I'm headed your way with watermelon and lemonade. Does this new summer flavor have what it takes to top the score chart? Let's find out. Now, let's get into the nutritional facts. Calories, 150. Sodium, 65 milligrams. Salty like balls on the beach. Carbohydrates, 35 grams. Sugar, 34 grams. Potassium, 50 and 10% juice. Now, let's get into the ingredients. It has filtered water, sugar, clarified lemon and watermelon juice concentrates, citric acid, sea salt, acacia gum, natural flavors, fruit concentrate for color, and 10% juice. Now, let's get into the smell. When I get my first smell, it reminds me of Bacardi Grand Melon with a very faint hint of lemonade. Like a bad plastic surgery drop, it smells artificial and fake. It also has a small hint of watermelon Jolly Rancher smell. Overall, it smells sweet and it reminds me of artificial candies, and I definitely don't think lemonade or watermelon when I smell this. Time to get down to business, the taste. On my first sip, my first thought was, this is sweet. My second thought was, watermelon. But like losing at the casino, I find myself searching for an answer. Where's the lemonade? Like Ha Ha Davis, this is beyond me because the taste is watered down, sweet and not in a good way. Like Christmas morning, I had high hopes. But like my dad going out for cigarettes and never coming back, I was let down. It's like wet socks in your mouth that leave a bad aftertaste and does not respect your thirst. Here is my final thought and savage score for watermelon and lemonade Snapple. I'ma have to give it sadly a 2 out of 10. I feel it simply does not taste good. I had high hopes but hopefully Snapple can redeem itself with a future review. So like always, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share and respect your thirst. Peace.